Over the past five years, my organization, RoboGals, has taught robotics to over 10,000 girls as a way to show them the possibilities of a career in engineering. Prior to us coming in, most of the girls had no idea what engineering is. On feedback surveys, they tell us things like, I thought it had to do with engines. It has to do with metal. I thought they were train drivers. And my personal favorite, I was wondering if you know Sheldon of the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> In my head, we're friends. <laughs> so what is engineering exactly? Engineering is a practical application of all sciences. Civil engineers built this, the Sydney Opera House. Electronics engineers created your mobile phones. Chemical engineers made paper. Almost every kind of engineer is involved in making a plane. And engineers even created things like this, apparently. <laughs> but the question I put to you today is why are we, as a country, doing such a bad job at inspiring the next generation to become engineers? In Australia, and in the other countries where RoboGals operates, including the US and UK, there is currently a dire shortage of engineers. And while my initiative focuses mostly on girls, my message today is regarding both genders, because this is a real problem. Matt Barry, the CEO of Freelancer.com, recently said he's lucky to get just one software engineer job applicant per day. But when he put up an ad for an office manager, received 350 applicants in two days. Like these kids, I didn't know what engineering was when I was growing up. My mum wanted me to be a doctor because I'm Asian. <laughs> it wasn't until my final year of high school that I went to a four-day engineering camp and got to learn how to build robots out of Lego, shoot water rockets into the sky, make a mechatronic catapult. I learned that with engineering, you can work on exciting and world-changing projects. Mind equals blowing. <laughs> so I know that outreach works because it worked on me, and I'm not the only one. So we need to be teaching our kids from as early as primary school how to make stuff through robotics workshops, computer programming, engineering site visits, to show them how the things they're doing in the classroom relate directly to amazing real-world applications, because it's fun to create a new thing, as this third grader in California told us. This in the middle is Katie. She went to teach robotics for a whole week on the surf coast of Victoria. On the last day, at the end of the last session, a girl ran up to her and said, I really want to be an engineer now. And for Katie and the volunteers on the trip, it was like, achievement unlocked. <laughs> but there's no secret source to our program. The difference is, we just go out there and do it. But we, the RoboGals, can only reach a tiny fraction of the schools out there. For the future of this nation, all schools need to be teaching our kids to be makers. Because a nation that doesn't create is forced to just consume. And for the nation that does create, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.